When is a private jet not a private jet? Or more to the point, when is an economy class flight not an economy class flight? To find out, I had to drive to Seattle's Boeing Field Airport, a 20 minute drive north of SeaTac, where an airline called Jet Suite X think that they have the answer. You see, they operate flights in economy class that isn't really economy class, it's more of a private jet experience, is how they sell it at least. And the first experience of them to me is arriving here at Boeing Field in Seattle, and there's a load of private jets parked up. It does feel really exclusive, so. Let's head inside and see just how exclusive you can get for like $100 each way. Let's go. Well, as it soon turned out, this so-called private jet experience wasn't quite as exclusive as I'd been expecting. Well, this is not a fantastic start to this trip. It seems that when Jet Suite X promise a private jet experience for the price of economy, they're talking about the sort of private jet that gets you rescheduled by five hours and doesn't even bother to email you. Really disappointing start to be honest. Um, for me it's not so much of an issue, I've got like loads of time where I'm going anyway before my next flight, but if you were a businessman and you were going down to a meeting or something then this would be really inconvenient. Not least because of the fact that any other flights down to Oakland or the Bay Area in general will all go from SeaTac Airport which is about 20 minutes from here. There's literally no other commercial flights from here at Seattle Boeing Field. So I'm going to go and try and find something to do for the next five hours while I wait for my flight to come. Now they've bothered to actually tell me that my flight is not going to go till this afternoon. So let's go and see if there's something else to do around here at Boeing Field. As it turned out, there was. Boeing's Museum of Flight is situated on the airfield and was a great way to kill a few hours waiting for my flight. Don't forget to check out my full video of my visit to the Museum of Flight if you've not seen it already. It was soon after noon and time to walk the two miles back around the airfield to the terminal where the staff had finally arrived. Yeah, about three quarters of a person. I mean, that's still fine. Check it in, please. Yeah, or opened. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. They took my bag this morning because I came for the original flight, so I think my bag is like somewhere right. in, your, in your office or something. So. Oh, you're the person from this yes. morning. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's in the back. We'll, we'll get it Sweet. for you. Thank you. We'll just... uh, the lounge is going to be straight down before those double doors okay. to the right. So All right, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Once you've checked in, your bags are swabbed and tested, and there's no security. You just head through to the lounge and wait for your flight to be called. There's free tea, coffee, and refreshments in the lounge, as well as some nice views across the airport. My ride down to Oakland today was this Embraer 135, originally delivered to American Eagle in 2000 and bought by Jet Suite X in 2016. And now a word from our sponsors. Are you a man? Do you keep forgetting to buy razor blades just like me? Hello. Oh, thank you very much. Hi. Well, thank golly gosh, Harry's have come to the rescue. Um, it's really simple really, you just sign up with them, receive your razor, shaving gel and first pack of blades in the post and then get new blades or gel automatically delivered on a schedule to suit you. I love it because I don't have to do a thing to keep fresh blades and shaving gel in the bathroom, you just set your delivery interval and they just turn up. No more using rusty blunt blades because you've forgotten to go out and get new ones and no more paying ridiculous prices for 8 bladed quantum edge titanium tip vibrating Ujima flips. Spisak presents the Mach 20. With 20 blades, we guarantee you the closest shave of your life. That could be the edge I need to make me a first rate professional businessman. You just get a simple great shave for a great price. This trial set's worth £11.50, but Harry's are offering you this trial set completely free of charge. Just pay for the delivery. They're even sending you a free post shave balm with your trial too, because they're nice like that. Check out this offer today at harrys.com slash knoll. You too can be as smooth as knoll. Sign up for Harry's today. <coughs> and with that, my flight was called and I headed across to the gate to board. First passenger, 1405. Thank you. Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. 10 Alpha. 10 Alpha, you're going to be the last one on the right, sir. Thank you. All right, then, welcome aboard. Hello, 
Welcome in. Welcome on board. Hi, Dan. Welcome aboard. So finally on board the Jet Suite X Embraer 135. And it's really nice. First thing you notice is there's no overhead bins whatsoever, so there's loads of space on board this plane and very smartly decorated as well. Quite a chunk of leg room, although you do lose some of it because of your bag under the seat, which is a bit annoying, but other than that, it's really nice. Personal belongings do fit all the way underneath the seat in front of you. And there are not many open seats, but if you can find one and you wish to move to it at this time, you may do so. Sitting at the back gives you a great view of the engine starting up on the Embraer. Taxiing out at Boeing Field, you can see all the stored Boeing 737 Maxes parked up across the airport. Boeing. Not much wind, but all over Anyway, appreciate your fine JSX today, and uh, we'll get you going here. One second flight from 737 down to It should be about an hour and 40 minutes, so, and a pretty smooth ride. That's all we got. Todd, turn the camera to parking, please. We'll be here one year. Pretty soon, we were lining up and getting on our way south. today then took us directly south out of Seattle, crossing Oregon and down into California. Flight time today was 1 hour and 46 minutes, cruising at 35,000 feet. On board the Embraer there's a power socket but no USB or international socket which was a little bit frustrating. So taking off from Boeing Field on the JSX Embraer and it's quite comfortable, it's not too bad. They've just come around and taken our drinks orders um, for the drink service they're going to be doing pretty soon but it's quite nice. Relatively comfortable and quite a smooth transition down in um, Seattle Boeing Field as well. It was quite nice to just be able to wander through the lounge and out to the plane without having to go through security and all the rest of it. It's pretty decent. At the back of the plane there's a bathroom which was a pretty reasonable size. JSX offer free drinks and snacks on board all of their routes. Today I tried out their Dogtown Duck IPA which is very hipster but was really nice. They also have a great range of snacks too. on the Embraer was comfortable but the longer you sit on board the more you notice it's getting a little bit worn around the edges. The table had scratches and marks on it and the window surround was well it was coming away from the window as you can see. That isn't to say that that's a massive problem but it does kind of show that smarter cabins don't necessarily stay smart for too long when they're running scheduled routes with loads of passengers day in day out.
As we started our descent over Northern California, the seatbelt science came on and we prepared for our arrival into the Bay Area. with JSX today cost me 119 US dollars or just over 100 quid for a flight of 677 miles, giving a cost per mile of 15 pence. To be honest I think that represents really good value for money considering it's a similar price to the mainline airlines economy fares and you do get so much more on board JSX. You do however introduce these issues of flying with smaller airlines, when things go wrong you don't have much in the way of alternatives and they can't just bump you onto the next flight or route you via somewhere else as they don't have that fast route network that the big guys have. The private jet terminal at Oakland is across the airport from the main terminal and, being so small, it was absolutely rammed full. You have to wait for your bags to be brought into the terminal and to say this is supposed to be an exclusive terminal, it didn't really seem like a particularly peaceful place to wait for your flight. Back here then at Oakland Airport in Northern California, actually in the Bay Area, just not far from San Francisco. Fantastic flight down with Jet Suite X, despite that five hour change of schedule. I'm sure that doesn't happen all the time, so to be honest, it's great to be able to fly with Jet Suite X. They're a really nice little airline. Let me know what you think to them down in the comments below. Would you take a ride with them to avoid all the hassle of flying through other airports? or would you prefer to fly with another airline? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Hope you've enjoyed this video, let me know what you think to it down in the comments below, but in the meantime, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.